Yo, what's going on guys? Bush back at it with another video. Want to give you guys the heads up on a couple of Epic Game Store freebies on top of a great freebie next week. Seems like we are retreading some of these freebies, but what can you do? Um... Can't be giving out, like, new games and big budget titles every week. Although, I would say the two titles uh, that are being given out were AAA games, respective to when they were coming out. And one of them is still uh, considered a pretty notable title. Was given away last year as a part of, I think, Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. We'll talk about that. Uh, a big freebie next week as well. At least a pretty good freebie. V Rising is going up in price in just a day or so, and you can get it discounted over at Fanatical. Want to give you guys a heads up on that, and a couple of good Steam deals that are available right now as well. But right off the top, the freebies over on the Epic Game Store. We've got the Outer World, Spacer's Choice Edition, and Thief. A Ghost Runner uh, will be free next week. So Outer World, Spacer's Choice is a big freebie, albeit it was free on Christmas Day last year. I think it was Christmas day now that i think about it you know some of you guys may have been spending time with family and you couldn't redeem the epic game store freebie maybe you have family that uh doesn't hate you and you were spending time with them so you know uh, you didn't get to redeem outer world well now is another opportunity to do so so go check that out it's an rpg that honestly had a little bit of a div uh, divisive um assessment from a lot of people i personally thought it was good and i think most people actually thought it was good it's just the people that were down on it seemed to be really down on it and i know the space just choice edition Kind of had a disastrous launch on PC, to say the least. But overall, the game was pretty good. Um, and if you're into RPGs, you'll probably like the game. Thief 2014, on the other hand, man, was that game disappointing for me. Guys, uh, just to give you guys like a comical look into my psyche. Well, this was a decade ago, back in early 2014, late 2013, leading into the release of this game. I thought Thief was going to be the next generation showcase for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Mind you that it was a cross-gen release, but I was so excited for Thief that I was like, bro, this is gonna be the game. This is gonna be the game that, no, I don't even care that it's cross-gen. I think people are gonna buy a next-gen console. They're gonna buy a PC to play Thief. Then Thief came out, and uh, yes, it was not very good. Was it okay? I mean, it's free right now, so it's fine as a free title, and uh, if you were to spend money on it, I would say no more than $3, but uh, you know, it definitely was a bit clunky. It definitely was rough around the edges, and uh, narratively not that great, but you know, atmosphere was kind of cool, visuals were all right. For free, it's fine, and as a secondary title to Outer Worlds, I think that's perfectly acceptable. I mean, it's a free title. Any game is acceptable if it's free. Um, you know, it is what it is, but uh, yeah, Thief was a grotesquely disappointing game for me. Ghost Runner next week, that's a great game. That's a game that I talk up quite a bit, even though it damn near made me break a controller. Uh, the game is incredibly challenging at times, but also very rewarding. Fast-paced, great soundtrack. We'll talk about that next week, but that's going to be a solid freebie next week. But for now, Outer Worlds and Thief, go get those for free right now. Next up, V Rising is 20% off at Fanatical for $15.99. Remember that this is going up to $35 tomorrow. So if you want to pick up V Rising for a discounted price, this is the time to do so. I know some of you guys, when I uploaded the video yesterday, were pretty down on V Rising in totality. But uh, yo, if you want to pick up the game, go check it out. As you guys know, I'm not super into survival games. Survival games really just aren't my cup of tea these days. But you know, if you enjoy survival games, more power to you. And you could probably find some enjoyment out of it. So, you know, check it out for what it's worth. It's getting its 1.0 release in, on May the 8th. So that's why it's going up in price to reflect the final version's price point. And generally speaking, early access games, that's how it goes. It comes out. It maintains a price point for a little bit. As more content rolls out, uh, that price does go up. And I think V Rising came out at $20 like a couple of years ago. And it's still been $20 uh, even through all the updates. And now that it's finally coming out in 1.0, they are upping the price to $35. But that is a pretty, it's a pretty big price increase, all things considered. Like from twenty dollars to thirty-five, you know, instead of paying thirty-five, you can pay sixteen dollars right now over at Fanatical. So go take advantage of that. Next up, couple of Steam deals to round out this video. Uh, Chained Echoes is thirty-three percent off for sixteen seventy-four. Now this was done by Mateus Linda. Uh, I believe just one person worked on this game, and it came out back in late twenty twenty-two. Very much a throwback JRPG uh, to the Super Nintendo era, but also has some modernized mechanics that make it accessible to a modern audience. Uh, this has been very much holding up in price for a very very long time so it being 33% off a year uh 16 months actually after its initial release doesn't sound like a big discount but it was getting like 20% off discounts for a while so now that it's 33% off I mean 
it was worth the $25 easily. It was a great game, and thanks to Deck13 for hooking me up with a copy of the game back when it came out. Had a great time with it, and from a art style standpoint, it was great. Soundtrack was really solid. I mean, it had all of those classic JRPG elements, and those JRPG elements still hold true today to make a good JRPG. You need those elements in a game, but they're so synonymous with JRPGs as a whole, and Chain Echoes really revels in all of that, and it has all of that. Um, you know, lengthy game as well, obviously, as a JRPG. Not, like, overwhelmingly lengthy. Like, it's not going to take you north of 100 hours or anything like that, but you know, it'll be a sizable experience. For sixteen seventy four. dollars I think that's a great price and certainly would recommend it. And then lastly, do want to give a shout to Pal World. 10% off for $27. Now, this is essentially the launch discount. It is the launch discount. For whatever reason, if you missed out on it, $27 bucks now. Uh, Pal World is a game that even in early access, you can get a sizable amount of content out of it now. And uh, yeah, the concurrent player base has fallen, but what can you do? These things happen, and uh, it is uh, still accruing 54,000 players concurrently and uh, recently just had a new uh, version uh, an update dropped back on I believe today it actually dropped today and uh, they'll continue rolling out content and I'm sure once pal world hits 1.0 uh, it'll have a jolt up in its player base but you know like these things happen in gaming. It was never going to be sustainable with 1 to 2 million players. That was just never going to happen. And I think people that just want to be down on a game, Power World, Helldivers, experience it a little bit. Although Helldivers has been sustaining pretty strongly. Two months after, still hovering around 200k players. That's very impressive. But, um, you know, in general, games are going to fall off. And uh, Power World has fallen off. But it's an early access game with a limited amount of content. What do you expect people to do? Play the game forever and ever? Guys, there's this thing called other video games that come out. Do you think? that the people that jumped into Pal World just never played a video game prior in their life and they were like, oh my god, Pal World got me into video games and then they're going to be obsessed with Pal World for the rest of their life? That's not exactly how things work in the gaming world. People jump from game to game and um, Pal World's not necessarily like a live service model or anything like that where it's getting these consistent stream of updates. You, the content is the content in the game for now um, and I'm sure it'll grow, it'll expand, but give them time. It, it's cooking. It's an early access and uh, if you haven't checked it out, the base game or early access version, I should say, still offers you quite a bit of content for what you're getting into. Survival games, yeah, not really my cup of tea. Pal World, you know, it's a bit gimmicky to me. Like, I didn't get super into it, but I'm happy for everybody that enjoyed it, and I can definitely see why people enjoyed it. Very positive reception, 93% positive. It'd be really great if this game could get to overwhelming, but that's going to be difficult with all the reviews that have been posted. But that'll do it for me. Again, two free games right now. Big games at that. Ghost Runner free next week. V Rising at Fanatical and a couple of deals on Steam. Link to uh, Links to everything in the description box as always thanks for watching and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.